Hey people. All right, so I wanted to show you guys how I made and how I'm going to install some clip-ins on short hair. Um, I am in the process of growing my hair out to a, um, I have it already cut in an undercut. And an undercut is when it's really short on the sides and long in the top. So I have quite a bit of length in the top. Yeah, so that is what an undercut is. Short on the sides and back. And then it's like short all the way to right here. And then everything is long up in here. So that's what an undercut is. Because people ask me and I try my best to explain it in the comments or whatnot. Uh, but I just want to let you guys know again. So in the process of me growing my front out, um, I have a bit of a struggle bang. So I, you know, for different looks when I feel like having, you know, longer hair on my face. I uh, made clip-ins so um, I made the clip-ins at the salon so really quickly I'm gonna show you guys how I made it and all of that and I will be right back Whoa. hey guys so I am making hair clips um, for my own hair but as you know my hair is blue so I am coloring the hair so I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it I am using bleach. I'm using Spark hair color bleach and the 20 volume. And this is what it looks like. I just put it on the ends process and then I'm going to apply the Spark electric blue on top of it. Alright y'all, so this is the finished product of my color me coloring my weave pieces y'all my hands so ashy from working oh my gosh because <laughs> i am at the salon and i did this like in between clients and stuff like that so these are the clips well the pieces that i colored and this is the clips they're the wig clips for um i think i got these from sally's so these are the clips and what you're gonna do is if you've never done this before you're going to sew this part Oops, sorry you're gonna sew it like that onto there so you want to make sure that it's bent when it's bent in it'll go like that on there so that the comb is going into your scalp and then clip it so they're gonna go like this I'm probably gonna put two on this piece one on each end and then I have two bigger pieces one of them is black and one is brown I mean I'm sorry one is black and one is blue so this one I'm gonna put I may put three because I don't like when it's like a gaping hole or whatever so I'm gonna put one here in the middle and on the end on this one and this one as well and these are already pre-cut for the front of my hair right, so these are the finished product of my clips um, as you can see I sewed three clips per track I'm just gonna do two tracks, one blue, one black, um, and I'll show you guys, I guess, the after. <laughs> because what you're gonna do is just basically clip it and I'm gonna cut it um, to the length that I want and that's it. All right, so you guys saw how I colored and how I so. I sewed in <laughs> the clips and all of that so these are the two clippings I had initially I think I initially made three but um, I don't need all of that 
I have one black clip-in and for me what you guys saw I dyed a blue clip-in um, this hair was some leftover hair from a client who had some human hair so make sure that it is human hair um, and not like beauty supply hair regular beauty supply store hair because those that hair is treated and all of that so if you're gonna color it it's probably not gonna lift properly so I wouldn't use that all right so really quickly I'm gonna show you guys how a quick easy style that I do like you guys know that I'm very easy like I don't do a whole lot with my hair unless I feel like it so when I do wear the clippings this is the hairstyle that I wear and it's pretty similar to the Emily Sande um, tutorial that I did about I think what, almost two years ago so yeah let me show you so this is my bang my bang is actually pretty long um, it's a decent length but as you can see you know it's a it's a bit of a struggle mainly because I have some straggly ends that needs to be trimmed um, yeah it's a mess. I'll trim that off <laughs> But yeah, I have some some straggly ends, and and then right here, my hairline is kind of thin right there, so it kind of messes with the growth of my bang a little bit. So I, what I'm really waiting on is for this hair, all this hair right here, to grow over this hair down here because this hair is always a bit of a struggle in a way, but whatever. So this is what I do. I part a small section in the front right here. And my hair is a little bit old. It's like a few days old from being shampooed, so it's not fresh, fresh hair. Um, So I part it like so, and then I take my uh, black hair first, and, and make sure that it's measured properly before you even do the clips and all of that. As you can see, I have three clips, as I showed earlier. Three clips, so I clip the middle first, then I clip down the sides. And it stays really good, like I have no issues. Even though it's a small part parting that I did, I have like no issues. And I'm gonna get that with the flat iron. So then, I take another, part it not too far up from the other parting. And the part does not have to be perfect, like at all. Like I said, it's like, I do this really quick in the morning whenever I feel like having a bang. And then I do the second one, which is the blue. And I do the middle again. And then put the sides. And it stays really good like oh my gosh y'all it stays really good have no issues whatsoever oh yeah there we go then i comb all of this down ouch so, so you gotta be careful i just pull that nicely slow comb all of this down and then what i do Especially with it being old hair. I mean, um, if you're bumping your hair. I am using my old faithful hair art flat iron. This is this is the first flat iron that I had uh, when I started doing my hair. And I just keep it at home and it still works really good. It's amazing. It's my hair art. And I put it on a low setting especially since this hair has already been flat ironed. If not, you can put it on a higher setting if you're just shampooing your hair. And I just bump it. I just bump it a little bit. Just throw a few 
few quick bumps in it. Just for an enhancement. And just a quick tip for you ladies. Let's say if you're not doing clip-ins, if you're trying to glue it in, which I know a lot of people have asked me to show how to do a glue-in um, look. I'm probably not because I I think I am um, allergic to the glue because my scalp gets really dry and itchy when I do use the glue. So I have not used the glue in quite some time. So if you're looking for that type of tutorial, I apologize guys, but I won't be doing that. Um, you can follow how I did it with the clip-ins just now, like doing the two partings and just, you know, applying some glue and doing that, but I'm really not gonna show you because, yeah, that stuff messing with my, my scalp. So that's why I wanted to show you guys how to achieve this look with clip-ins because I really wanted to have a different look without glue. So yeah. So yeah, just bump, bump, bump. Like, this is a really easy style. This is a style that I wore in my recent um, LLB video. Check that out if you haven't already. Um, talking about uh, New Year, New You, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> so I think I've gotten it all bumped. I think so. All right. So then I'm gonna take a little of my Maurice beeswax and mess it up a little bit. Put it on both fingertips and just kind of go like that. And this is like literally how I wear my hair a lot, y'all. And I have a similar tutorial on this, so I'm really just showing you guys how I apply the clip-ins and how I made it. Not really the style. Yeah. So I don't want you guys to be like, you did this before. I'm not really showing how to style, I'm more showing how I install it. And yeah, that's it. That is really it. And you see, I have my things. You know, such an easy, quick look. And the great thing about it is you can reuse it, especially when it's good hair. Like you can, I've been using this for like a few months now. And all I do is shampoo it. I shampoo it whenever I shampoo my hair. Like if I'm gonna use it, I shampoo it whenever I shampoo my hair because it gets oily after a while. So I just shampoo it like once or twice with a mild shampoo. And I do put conditioner on it. I know some people don't put conditioner on their weave. Um, some people do, but like, it's human hair, so I want it to be soft. I don't want it to be brittle, especially when I am flat ironing it. So, and it has color on it, so I do put conditioner on it. And that's about it. Like, it's so easy, y'all. I love these clip-ins. I'm mad I didn't think about this earlier. You know, you know how you have some bright ideas, you be like, dang. All these years I was using this glue on my scalp and it's itching and I finally had an epiphany that this glue was doing something to my scalp and now I got clippings. So I'm probably gonna get probably gonna make some more soon just so I can have like link options. I don't know, we'll see. But I'm really loving these now. So yeah, so this is how I made and how I install my clip-ins for short hair. It's fairly easy. Um, one quick thing, um, I only, like I said, I only use two, but that's because of the length of my hair and it's able to cover it. If your hair is a little shorter, um, you may have to use more. So you, I have one here and then one here. And like, I know for some of my clients when I install like, like, uh, weave in the front for a longer bang I'll go back here and some even I'll go back here so you can make clip-ins like you you can make four six whatever clip-ins and uh, you know go here here 
and just as far back as you need to as long as it's covered. If you have really, really short hair and you have like a pixie cut, I would not advise you to try to make clip-ins because I'm not sure if that, like if your hair is like this short, I don't think that you're gonna cover too well. And it's kind of hard to cover me with like really, really short hair. So, you know, I mean, yeah. But this is what I do. <laughs> so, I hope you guys liked this tutorial, this quick tutorial on how to switch up your pixie um, and add some length. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter at The Hair Razor. Uh, love you guys so much. Peace out. Holla at your girl. Peace.